Welcome back to another episode. Let's take a closer look at some semiconductor news that just came out yesterday and I think is pretty interesting. It involves the largest semiconductor manufacturing company, TSMC, as they announced updates for their Arizona plants. So originally, and let's just start over from the beginning, right? TSMC, this is the company that builds the chips for a lot of the semiconductor companies that we know. For example, AMD, Nvidia, even Apple, right? They have over 50% of the market share. Unfortunately, most of the their, I, I don't know if unfortunately, but at the moment, most of their production is done overseas as they have numerous plants in Taiwan. Well, recently we have seen a lot of tensions happening uh, around the world and due to supply chains, we've seen a lot of companies invest in domestic semiconductor manufacturing. So the company is now announcing that they're building not just one plant in Arizona, but two, and they're increasing their $12 billion original investment to $40 billion. Let's take a closer look in today's episode. I do want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video and make sure to check out fool.com slash Jose to get the top 10 stocks to buy right now. So on December 6 of 2022, TSMC announced that in addition to TSMC's Arizona's first plant, which is scheduled to begin production of N4 process technology in 2024, uh, so roughly two, uh, two years from now or a year and a half from now, which is pretty impressive, TSMC has also started the construction of a second plant which is scheduled to begin production of three nanometer process technology in 2026. The two fabs will approximately be 40 billion dollars representing the largest foreign direct investment in arizona history in addition to over 10,000 construction workers who help with the construction of sites the two fabs will also create roughly 10,000 high-paying tech jobs including 4,500 direct tsmc jobs so on december 6 there was a huge showcase uh, announcing all this news and you even had the president of the united states you also had some very big ceos for example tim cook the ceo of apple uh, lisa sue the CEO of AMD and Jensen Hong, the CEO of NVIDIA. These are some of my favorite semiconductor companies. So for them being there, it definitely kind of shows that these are probably going to be some of the first customers. And we know Apple is one of the largest, is actually the largest customer of TSM. And this is something I've talked about in my previous uh, in previous episodes of my semiconductor investing show. Uh, so if you haven't watched that podcast, make sure to click the link above. It's a weekly podcast about the semiconductor market. And I have a co-host. We discuss different, um, different semiconductor news. And one thing that we mentioned in that podcast is how Apple was probably forcing or kind of having a strong hand because they have such high revenue for TSMC that, hey, with all these tensions happening globally, especially in Taiwan, supply chain issues, we want to have some way to kind of produce chips here in the United States just in case something happens, right? That kind of backup plan is definitely creating an ease to a lot of these customers uh, who might have gone somewhere else to kind of get a backup plan. And I'll discuss that a little bit later. Uh, but we can see these new plants are going to be working on three nanometer and four nanometer uh, by 2024 and 2026. At that time, they might not be the most advanced chips, but they definitely will be one of the most consumer based at that moment. Uh, I definitely expect the three nanometer to really see the consumer space or really be a huge segment of revenue in 2025 or 2026 uh, so even though maybe at that time they might not be the most advanced nodes i do believe it's going to be the one that's probably going to be the most dependent on some of these big players like amd like nvidia and apple so obviously great news um I, I, there's some bad that i want to mention later on in this episode but they also gave some highlight on some tool companies that are going to be benefiting from this right because 40 billion dollars is a lot of money and this also goes to the semiconductor manufacturing equipment companies. TSMC revealed that they're going to be using suppliers like Applied Materials, ASML, LAM Research, CLAC, and the list goes on. So those are definitely some of the favorites. Numerous, numerous tailwinds for the semiconductor manufacturing equipment. I personally, though, would rather invest in a semiconductor ETF than in invest in any of these semiconductor companies individually. Uh, but that's just my take, right? I, I know there's a lot of investors who really enjoy ASML and LAM research and applied materials. I'm not saying they're going to do bad. I just say, I, I just believe the overall returns won't be that much more higher than an overall semiconductor ETF. Um, so I, I, I want to mention a few things. First, why is this a good thing? I, I, I do believe this is a great news for TSM because of all these tensions we're seeing globally. I mean, we can see here on November 24th of 2022, 
Samsung will manufacture three nanometer chips for NVIDIA, Baidu, Qualcomm, and IBM. And I do believe what we're seeing right now is a lot of semiconductor companies are worried of how TSM has numerous of their plants in Taiwan, so they want to diversify a bit of their chip manufacturing amongst other players, Samsung being the new number two competitor. So now with TSMC investing in more global plants all over the world here in the United States, more semiconductor companies might be like, okay, you know what? They do have plants outside of Taiwan. So maybe I don't need to find a second source for a backup plan. So I believe that's great news for TSM. I also believe there could be some bad news here for TSM. And I want to say at the end of the day, margins, right? Uh, I do believe things like this might impact margins because us building up a plant is super expensive buying equipment is super expensive and the revenue they, they're going to start spending all that money really soon but they won't start making any revenue anytime soon so i do believe gross margins would take a hit the other thing i do want to mention is we have seen tsmc's um complain about building uh building plants here in the united states we can see here in earlier 2022 TSMC says U.S. plant constructions is more costly than expected. And earlier on, on the summer of 2022 or and earlier on April of 2022, um, the founder says that making chips in the United States is too expensive. I do believe maybe these were just pushes to get the Chips Act to happen uh, here in the United States. But at the end of the day, obviously, it's going to be more expensive building some of these chips here in the U.S. compared to uh, where they're being built right now. Uh, so it could take a hit in margins. I don't think it's going to be a major, major hit. But if you are an investor and you're taking a closer look at maybe um, cash flow statements or, or, or future cash flow, I do want to say take in count that margins might decrease a bit uh, compared to previous quarters. The other thing we're seeing is the overcorrection of semiconductor uh, consumer products. And this is driving utilization rates uh, to drop in TSM. Uh, so this can also hit margins at the same time. So something to keep in mind, I don't believe TSM is going to lose their number one spot. Like I mentioned, they are the number one player in the manufacturing business, and they have over 50% of the market share as of early 2022. And I don't think that's expected to change anytime soon. So I do believe this is great news for the United States in general, um, for the semiconductor car market as well, as we're going to see a lot more money being spent in this space. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Take care, have a good day, and see you next time.